So I'm pretty excited to show my clients three spectacular houses. Neil and Catherine absolutely love what downtown Toronto has to offer, but Neil's company has recently relocated to Guelph. Their new house has to have at least four bedrooms, four bathrooms, a large open concept kitchen, a living room, a pool, and a basement for the kids. Their budget is $3 million. Spectacular. wide. It is wide and that's the beauty of having a one acre property. What Timberworks always tries to do is maximize the house for the lot. So this neighborhood here is part of Aberfoyle Creek. Only 20 houses in this subdivision surrounded by all kinds of green space. So very private, like not even a kilometer up the street. You've got grocery stores, theaters, everything up there. So every amenity you could possibly think of even though you're sort of in this rural setting. Okay. So, I know okay. it's hard coming from Toronto, yeah, but... <laughs> so, do you want to go in and take a look at it? Yeah, love Great. It. Absolutely. <laughs>mesmerized by it. It's quite lovely. Yeah, you'll see a lot of integrated lighting throughout this house. Right. Mm. So we've used it in a lot of places. I can't stop looking up. Yeah. <laughs> Should I we go know. take a look at the main room? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's sure see the yeah. rest. Great. <laughs> Here is your gorgeous open concept living kitchen dining area. Oh, I love this open space. <laughs> You know, you always find at parties that people end up in the kitchen. But with always. this... Yeah. Best conversations yeah. in the kitchen. Your kitchen is now almost... It just blends right in. Like, everyone's a part of the conversation. Right. So it's great. Great for entertaining. Also an extension to the outdoors. Right. And I love the neutral colors. Like, I'd say modern. I like modern. Right. This works really well. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This beautiful. I wouldn't mind seeing the kitchen. If yeah, we should we go take a look, a look at yeah. the kitchen? Sure. Tons of counter space. Great for your baking. And then the counters are, are quartzite. So great, great material. Doesn't etch and stain. Oh, okay. oh really? Yes. I love Beautiful. that. Nice. <laughs> so yeah. you've got your serving area, your sitting right. up bar. Yeah, this is a great space to work yeah. in. I love this. Good, mm -hmm. let's go see the dining room. Yeah. Sure. Love the lighting. So unique. Yeah. Huh. Wow. And the high ceilings again throughout right, the room. Throughout. So. And your same view. So everything kind of focused mm. on that side of the house to get those right. views. Yeah. Let's go see the master. Sure. Wow. <laughs> so Lots of space. Oh, incredible. And come take a look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I love it. Look at this. Wow. I love a closet. <laughs> yeah, I think I might as well. <laughs> <laughs> Your side, my side, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Let's go take a look at the ensuite. Yeah. Oh, wow. The bathtub. Gorgeous, right? Beautiful. The beautiful. Lighting again. Yeah. What a beautiful accent. And the high ceilings in here. Yeah, so your shower still is 12 feet high. Oh, wow. Yeah. These clients specifically wanted this ensuite right. so that they had access to the backyard from the ensuite. Oh, I love this. 
Oh, that is great. What a beautiful view. All the trees, the flowers. Yeah. Well, you haven't seen anything yet. Let's go see the basement. All right. Sure. <laughs> With 3,000 square feet, this basement is the perfect space for gatherings. It features an illuminated wine rack built right into the wall. The room opens up to a beautiful living area with a fireplace and projection screen. This is the ultimate place for entertainment. You'll also find a separate study room where you can relax and indulge in a good book. Oh, I think this backyard is pretty much exactly wow. what you guys are looking for. <laughs> this is yes. beautiful. Is that? Right? Yeah. Yes. Is it? It's a pizza oven? <laughs> it's exactly that, yes. Right here? I just make this my home right here? <laughs> he loves that. That is awesome. It's oh, heaven it's for gorgeous. you. gorgeous. Isn't it? And the pool is only a couple of years old. They've actually put in the, every feature you could imagine. They have the spa. They have the remote automated cover. Right. The automated salt dispenser. So really, it's a zero meter. Zero maintenance? Zero, oh. yes. That sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> so how's this ticking all the boxes for you? Obviously, we absolutely adore out here. And mm -hmm. I think the bigger thing is the basement. Personally, the first thing that popped out for me was the wine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say wine cellar, but it, it just was something unique. And I loved it. It's, it's so cool. You walk down, and there it is. Like an evening in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> right, the bar. Now, the big question is, what are we looking at? How much? I know your budget is $3 million. So this house here is actually under your budget at 2.8 million. Wow. <laughs> All right. OK. Right? I guess the other thing we'd like to see is if we could see the rest of the neighborhood. Yeah, it's only 20 estate homes in here. All right. And I'd love to show you. We could take cool. a quick walk. Let's do it. OK, mm -hmm. absolutely. There's actually quite a few copper accents on this one. Right. And as you can see, it's an all stone facade. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, OK. Now, this one does hit all the marks again. So I'm going to go in and take a look at it. Just get yes, right in there. So yeah. Look at that door. I love the glass door. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Beautiful dark floors. Look at the fireplace. That is stunning. I like that, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So let's just talk about this room first. It is uh, a big uh, square footage, has 12-foot uh, ceilings as well. It's cozy, though. Even with the 12-foot ceiling, it's, it, it feels really nice. Yeah, so we have the 12-foot here, but then we kind of drop it to the kitchen area, so it's a lot more condensed over here. If we wanted to put if the TV, a TV up, there, up there, yeah. <laughs> is, that, can, right. is that doable we, into, into there? Honestly, it's the question every husband asks, but yes. <laughs> I'm going to go over to the kitchen, though. No. Let's check out yeah. the kitchen. So you've got that dark, dramatic kitchen, still yeah. super high-end appliances. Um, this one here is like a fridge column with the freezer and the wine fridge built right in. I love that. I love how it's like the same design right across and everything just fits right in. Yes, exactly. It's I love amazing. that. Amazing. I love the tiles. And the wood. <laughs> yeah, and I haven't, the, I haven't seen that before. Too. Yeah. So it's a tongue and groove wood. Right. I like that. And it's a nice offset from the from the black. Right, and then you've got the counters the dark, are yeah. own granite, so it's that it's got that enhanced look, right. but it's still not polished. Yeah, right? and I love the sink in the island too. Great when I'm pairing things, so I don't spill things on the floor, turning around. Yes, exactly, and you yeah. have lots of cooking space here. Oh, oh, yeah, come on, <laughs> look at that. Wow, that's a little paradise out there. Can we head outside? No, not yet. No. Oh. <laughs> We're going to see the master first. Best for last. What if I just sneak off now? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what you got to stay do. with us. You're on the tour. You need a leash. <laughs> oh, master. Whoa. Love the fireplace. 
huge. Yeah, this room <laughs> is massive. Well, it's spacious. At the same time, you've got your sitting area, fireplace. Jacuzzi, um. tub. <laughs> well, that, that is that gorgeous. That's the fastest I've seen her move for ages. <laughs> oh, wow. I love the jacuzzi. <gasps> this is gorgeous in here. I'm going to ask one more time, because I'm pretty sure you're going to let me this time. Can we go outside? No, I locked that door, <laughs> predicting you were going to ask that. Okay. But it is great access to go back there. But I'm going to take you to the basement first, because you really wanted to see the space for the kids. So I'm going to show you that first. So your first bedroom is here. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> media room. I'm in here. No, you're not. <laughs> you come with us. <laughs> Wow. Yes, and two more bedrooms over here. So you have another bedroom here, oh. one here, full bathroom. Wow. Yeah, it's great with the bedrooms, just for when we do have our friends up from Toronto. Yeah, this would be great. guest rooms. Yeah, yeah. guest yeah. rooms, definitely. Yeah. Actually, I was surprised for you, so I'm going to take you outside now. <laughs> <laughs> All Excellent. Right. Yes, awesome. Let's go. All right. I'm going to well, push by you. I don't even want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> Rushing ahead. He's so excited. This is amazing. Wow. <laughs> this is incredible. Isn't it? The kids are going to love this. We built this house originally, and then we added on the pool house. Yeah. You haven't seen inside yet, but it's, it's absolutely spectacular. Yeah. So I know that we put off coming out here, but I really wanted you guys to meet Sean. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> OK, so Sean, I want you to meet Neil and Catherine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And so Sean is the builder, like I said. Well, it started out as a pool house, and uh, what's great about our clients is um, every time we do a project, they seem to want to outdo each other. Mm -hmm. So it grew from a pool <laughs> equipment room to a full-on <laughs> steam shower, kitchen, entertainment room. All uh, right, how much, Eve? Truthfully, this is still under your budget, just shy of $3 million, so. <laughs> All right. We aim to please. Yeah, I, I'm getting that. <laughs> that will be the showstopper for you. Yeah. Can I go? Yeah. Can I let it go now? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my God. This uh, is incredible. Wow. Oh. It's gorgeous. We love it. <laughs> Change room, steam shower, bathroom. This is yeah. heated floors. Oh, wow. But there are ceramics, and it's not hardwood. It looks like hardwood, but yeah. it's ceramic. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, of course. So it's, yeah, yeah. So it's heated. Wow. wow. Uh -huh. Oh, I guess I should leave. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I just want to stay. Nice that there's a three-car garage. That's a good start. Like that. Yeah, it's a good start. <laughs> Love the outside already. It's gorgeous. So the reason I brought you here, it is actually a completely unique home. So it is a two-story, has all the bedrooms and bathrooms you need. It is the original stone farmhouse that was here. It's been completely renovated. An absolutely stunning backyard. Can't wait to show you. So come on in and let's take a look at it. Wow, this is a grand entrance. <laughs> and Eve, this is from the original house, this wall? That is the original front. At like every stone as it was laid a hundred some odd years ago. So now this is your great room. You can see the deep window wells, classic for the old stone farmhouses, and lots of windows. So lots of windows and literally everything has been gutted and redone in this house. And just around here is the kitchen, so we'll go there next. <laughs> so, kitchen. Awesome, right? 
The backsplash is all marble. These counters are marble. This island here, this is a butcher block, so fairly low maintenance. And lots of storage. So you've got pantry space, you've got servery space, and again, display and more cabinets. So there's a ton of storage in this kitchen. This is my favorite room in the whole house. Let's go take a look. You're going to love this. Wow. Wow. I love these high ceilings and that fireplace. This could be a living room right here. Yes. Yeah. And these are like two story. It overlooks up the top. Still have that glass, uh, glass railing there. Stunning. And of course, you have your. Oh. What a great I view. Open to below. <laughs> it's nice, eh? Yeah. Feel, feel yeah, like it's high nice. up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> the ensuite. So it has the original tub. Wow, that's gorgeous. Stand up shower, water closet, double vanity. This probably would have been the fourth bedroom. And. Master sweet. White, yeah, right? Uh -huh. You gotta love this. Yeah, it's very uh, clean and cozy looking. So you have three bedrooms on this floor, all really good sizes. You have the main bathroom and the laundry, which is basically the size of another room. So and then the fourth bedroom that you guys are looking for, I'm gonna show you, it's downstairs. Let's go take a look. So, guest suite. And another area here. For an 1850s house, normally what you'd have is a stone foundation and nothing but a cellar. So to even have a finished basement is truly remarkable. And a bar area. I mean, you may like the idea of having a bar, but really it's about entertaining and the children having a space is really important and having a nice large space for our friends to come visit. And I mean, the bar, it's not that important to us, right? <laughs> backyard. Yes. Right? It's breathtaking. Mm -hmm. Totally private, all fenced in. Gorgeous fiberglass pool, has the automatic cover, the spa, this beautiful water feature, very linear, very modern. It's welcoming. Mm -hmm. And you can just picture having more than enough people up here to be able to entertain comfortably as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of space. Yeah. And lots of space left for the kids. I mean, you're still on one right. acre out here. Yeah, it's a great area to run around. Uh, great for us for entertaining. It's just beautiful back here. Yeah, and fully landscaped. So, again, perfect home. Just move yeah. right in. Mm -hmm. So, Eve, what's the final? This one here, so you're going to be roughly just under 2.5. Okay. Priced well within your budget. I'd say it's definitely one of the contenders. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so it gives Perfect. us something to think about. <laughs> yeah, I love to think about it. Thank All you. Right. I thought I'd bring you here back to one of the neighborhoods we looked in. I thought uh, it was a great place for you to remember all the houses that we looked at. So we saw three awesome houses. The first one we saw, remember we walked in, it had that great feature wall, stone all lit. Yeah. 14 foot ceilings around the main. It was a little bit contemporary. White kitchen, separate dining room, huge master. And of course the basement had that wine wall you love so much and the bar. <laughs> and outside was uh, the pizza oven with that beautiful pool. So the second house, a little bit more traditional feel, high ceilings as well. Had the dark kitchen with the darker floors. That huge master with the fireplace in it that had the door to the, the exterior as well. And ensuite, also very traditional. The basement was great area, you said, for the kids. Had the big windows, that big area fireplace, the theater room. And it also had the three other bedrooms downstairs. The third house was that gorgeous converted farmhouse. And it was just absolutely beautiful with the stone walls inside. 
Had the four bedrooms. The backyard was absolutely spectacular. The basement still had that separate space. Had another bedroom and a bar. So, big decision. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Which one are you thinking about eliminating first? I think the first one we saw was definitely just a bit too too big for us. Okay. And as well, the basement really was more for adults. So that brings us down to two. Right. Two, the converted farmhouse mm -hmm. and that one with the beautiful cabana. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> the history alone on that farmhouse yeah. was just something I think we both kind of just peaked at. Uh, and then the backyard was great too with all the space. I think on that one the basement just was kind of the one that just didn't push it over the, over the edge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me what pushed it over the edge with the other one? <laughs> a pool house. <laughs> the cabana. Yeah, I know. I mean for yeah. the entertainment feature because you know it's a process now for us to move away from Toronto. We want to make sure it's a place that our friends will come to visit and stay with us so that is a selling feature. Right. And for the kids as well to be out there, you know. You're going to absolutely love it here, and I'm so excited that you're coming to the area. Well, yeah. congratulations on your Thanks. great house. Thank you. Thank you.